Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, it's Megan here, the faithful fibromyalgia warrior. I am actually just heading down the road from my house to Starbucks uh, for Valentine's coffee. And then my lovely husband and I are going later to have lunch together and meet friends for coffee uh, again. Sorry, it has been a little while since my last video uh, and my last live stream. But uh, I've actually been busy. It's been great, as a matter of fact. Um, there's a new friend, somebody uh, who I've gotten to know over the past month, who is part of our church here in London, but is actually from Odessa, and uh, has come here, of course, because of the war. And I've just been helping her practice her English, and I've actually just been starting to learn Ukrainian. So I've been a bit busy and so far it's been really fun learning the new alphabet, learning how to pronounce things correctly. She's offered to help me practice my Ukrainian and of course we have um, every Monday at 5 30 she and I get together and I let her practice her English and so we'll both learn between the two of us. I am not ready to practice speaking just yet. I'm just learning how to pronounce the letters of the alphabet correctly. But hopefully in a week or so, um, I'll be able to start practicing sentences with her. But uh, I just wanted to let everybody know I'm doing well. I'm doing great. And actually, you know what? There was, there was a time not that long ago when I couldn't have even thought about possibly learning another language because I just did not have the brain capacity. Uh, the fog was far too great. And so is it the fact that I eat meat? Is that what makes me able to learn a new language? No, but that's what cleared my brain fog. That's what gave me back my brain. You know, I, I also speak French as a Canadian. That's normal. You learn to speak French. It's the second official language. Um, and so I kept that up. Not that I've had to use it in a while, but I can speak French pretty fluently. Um, so maybe that's why learning another language isn't too overwhelming. But I tell you what, if I was still eating processed crap that kept my body and my brain inflamed, there's no way I'd be able to retain new vocabulary words. There's no way I'd be able to l retain um, a new language, even, even if it's just the very beginnings of a new language. So wish me luck, please, um, because between Regina and I, uh, we are going to help each other uh, to grow in both of our second new secondary languages as we build a really amazing friendship. Uh, but that's what I've been up to. That's what's been going on with me. So not to worry, I've not had COVID. I've not been sick or, uh, come, you know, uh, laid out in pain or inflammation. I have actually been starting to learn a new language. And in fact, my pain continues to reduce more and more, uh, it seems, daily. So I hope you guys are doing well. Just a quick update in case you wondered. And I will, I promise I'll be back soon with some new live content. Uh, it's, that's just what I've been up to recently. So uh, I'll, be in, I'll be back. I will keep you guys updated. And oh, by the way, Still no rebound pain from when I did the vacuuming last week. So that's always a good thing. Uh, you might be able to hear it. There's birds in the background. Today it's going to be about 12 degrees Celsius, which is amazing. Foggy, but sunny. So it's kind of weird skies at the moment. But uh, I don't know. Here, I'll sh it's, it's, here you go. You might see a bit of a mist. I don't know. Mist, fog, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, guys, take care. And I will be back soon. All the best to everybody. And uh, as I say, I will be back soon. And I promise I will be live streaming again soon. And I will be having some uh, more recorded content. Just wanted to let you guys know what's been up with me. All right. Bye for now.